What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Sunday to you guys. Today, 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 I am so excited because first, I'm fixing something that I've never, ever fixed before, uh, and I'm excited to fix this along with you guys. And also, I have a lot to share with you guys throughout this video while I am cooking. So without further ado, let's get into it. Today, I am going to be making some cauliflower fried rice. All right, so let's take a look at the ingredients and get this on the go. All right, we have some uh, green onions. Uh, the recipe actually calls for scallions, but I didn't see uh, scallions at the grocery store, so I got some green onions some ginger i'm going with the ginger paste this time two eggs some bacon some cauliflower rice now if you don't want to buy the package you can buy the head of cauliflower and break it down and put it in a blender and then you use it that way but I prefer to go here since this is my first time making this recipe and I saw that they, they had cauliflower rice, I decided to go with this. Now, as far as your sauces and everything, some fish sauce, sesame seed oil, soy sauce, and some minced garlic. All right, guys, let's get this show on the road. We are going to start off with the bacon and get the bacon cooked. Then we get this bacon in here. Now I'm only going to use two strips of bacon because I'm not going to fix a whole lot of it. In the meantime, let's get this heated up. Get this bacon in here. It's going to start smelling really good over here at this campsite. <laughs> And you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and cut my bacon with my scissors. Ah, look at that. That is so much easier. I mean, not that using a knife is hard. But this, then you can get rid of the fat. I know somebody probably saying, oh, put that fat in that pan. <laughs> Put that fat in that pan. All right, while I got the bacon all chopped up or scissored up, I'm going to go ahead and let me just put this in here because this pan already feels hot. I wonder if that's going to be enough, though. I guess it will be enough because I'm only fixing like one bowl. And check out, check it out. My man Dean from Canada sent me this Wowzers t shirt. Bam. Okay, we'll get that bacon going. I'll cut up some green onions next. I don't need a lot of these. Oh, uh, what is this on my um, oven, my stove? Get off of there. Burning all up, making a smell. I want the smell of bacon. All right, there we go. I'm 
I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here. And give these little bad boys just a little bit of rinse. Woo, bacon, bacon, bacon starting to smell good. We're gonna chop up some green onions. And I think that's enough since we only fix in one serving. Boy, if y'all can smell this bacon. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna get that out the way. Now, let's get into this uh, cauliflower because what you wanna do, let me move that out the way because I know somebody's yelling at me. Anthony, turn that handle. <laughs> turn that handle around. Now what you want to do with this cauliflower is you want to pat it dry so that you can have nice dry cauliflower. You want to absorb all the moisture out of it as best as you can. Keep it together. All right, I'll keep that on here for now. And I'm gonna talk to you guys about a couple of things. Woo, I know this is smelling up my campsite and beyond. Oh my goodness, who does not love the smell of bacon being cooked? All right, so couple things I want to share with you guys today. The first thing is scammers. I've had a, a couple of people in the last couple of videos reach out and say or make comments that, you know, someone's using my name. Uh, we've gone through this many times and it's not uncommon on other YouTubers channels as well where this whole telegraph thing is coming up. And then I saw another one say, hey fam, and this, that, and the other. Okay. I usually get a message or an alert when that happens and I usually go in right away as soon as I see it and I hide that person from our community. But the best defense is your awareness. You have to be aware. I mean, if I'm going to respond to a comment, it's going to be a direct response to whatever your comment was. I'm not going to respond and say, hey, Telegraph, send me this. You know, if you don't hear it from the horse's mouth, then it didn't come from me. So you have to be aware and not respond to it. You can even, what you should do is say, who's this? <laughs> who's this? And see if they respond. <laughs> I knew I heard something fall. So when it comes to scammers, FOA, you need to just be aware of it and know that it's not coming from me. If it looks unusual, it's probably unusual. Okay, so just be on the lookout and don't respond to things.
I am so excited about this. This is my first time. I think I've only eaten cauliflower maybe twice and it was mixed in with a bunch of other things. Oh, look at that thing. Them fell off of there. I don't care. You know what? Yes, this bacon is coming along. So the next thing that I want to share with you guys is I am so super excited to announce the first FOA 2023 meetup. Yay! <laughs> I am so excited because I thought of this and thought, oh man, this would be great. And I'm speaking of none other than the Tampa RV show. I am going to the Tampa RV show on January the 21st, first, which is a Saturday. And it would be so cool if you're in the Tampa area or nearby, if you come on out and we hang out at the RV show and look at some RVs and all kinds of things that's there. Because if I land a permanent resident at a campground, I am most definitely going to buy a travel trailer of some sort to put on that campground. So this would be the perfect opportunity for me along with some of the FOAs to walk through and say, oh, Anthony, yeah, that one. Oh, that one. I think that would be so much fun. And it's going to be so many YouTubers there that are into the RV uh, lifestyle and everything. So I thought, why not? It would be so much fun. So January the 21st, Saturday, I am most likely going to get there when the doors open, whatever time they are uh, open, and I'm going to be waiting near whatever the main entrance is for anyone who would like to come by and we hang out and watch some, uh, look at some RVs and travel trailers and everything else that they have there to see. I just think that this will be a fun meetup. So check it out. Let me know if you're in the area and you like to come out and hang out with me at the Tampa RV show. All right. Looks like our bacon is about done. So we're gonna turn that off for a minute. We're gonna get this bacon out of here. My tablecloth is so big, it hangs down so far, so a nice breeze blows the tablecloth all over the place. <laughs> I'll put that bacon there. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is get this cauliflower in there. And then from there, it should be easy peasy. So let's get the cauliflower in there. We're gonna keep that bacon fat in there. Uh-oh. I'm just gonna use my hand. Let's give a little cook on this. It looks like rice too. that out. Get a little cook on that. Ah, the next thing I want to share with you guys, oh my God, y'all going to be so proud of me because I was proud of me. Last night at the campground here, they had a potluck dinner. And you know what a potluck is. You make a dish and you go. 
So I met a guy here and he asked me, was I going to the dinner? And I said, no, I didn't bring enough food to cook for, you know, multiple people. And he said, oh, that's okay. You can come. I said, oh, no, I wouldn't come if I didn't have anything. So around two o'clock now, the potluck dinner was at 630. So around two o'clock yesterday, I just got to thinking, okay, I'm going. So I took all my little window coverings off and headed back to Walmart again. <laughs> And I got some chicken thighs because y'all know what I made them. Y'all know what, what did I make them, y'all? Tell me, what did I make them? I'm waiting. What did I make them? Yep, I made them my infamous <laughs> curry chicken and white rice. And I have some photos I'm going to throw up here of the spread that was at the uh, potluck and the curry chicken. And guess what? They loved it. Oh, my goodness. They ate all of it. <laughs> I was so happy that when I was looking and seeing, because, you know, you kind of looking and seeing who's going to, if anybody's going to eat some of it. Man, they were they were going to town, and I had at least five people tell me that it was really good. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, and I was really socializing. Y'all, y'all would have been proud of me. I was. I guess get this part. <laughs> I went there with no dentures. <laughs> Yes, I went there with no dentures because I had already taken them out. Okay, now we're going to drop some uh, sesame oil in here. And we're going to drop our green onions in there. Oh, let's turn this down some. And we're going to put some, some garlic in here. This is minced garlic. How much you like to put in yours. Then we have some ginger paste. I was so happy. I was. I sat down at the table with this one guy, and I saw him when he came in. And uh, ooh, that shot out. And we talked about because he goes to different. Uh, okay, let's mix this all in. Woo, boy, this is starting to look so good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Push that back on the side. And the next thing, oh, you know what I forgot? We got to get our fish oil. What was that? Oh, my gosh. Okay, Anthony, it was not. My egg fell off of there and cracked, so I got to run and get another egg. Oh my goodness, my egg. Now I gotta open this up. I think you just peel this off. Okay, I don't want my food to burn up. All right, got a little fish oil in there. Ooh, ooh, that smells different. All right, guys, I gotta run and get another egg right quick.
All right. And the last thing we're gonna add here is some soy sauce. Then we're gonna crack in two eggs. Now y'all can fall. <laughs> I'm gonna cut up some more green onions. Alrighty, we're gonna get these eggs to going. Once the eggs get done, oh me, oh my, uh oh. And the last thing to add back in here is the bacon. Oh, shoot. Turn this off. And guess what? All my drinks, all my drinks are in the refrigerator. All righty. Oh, I got to wipe this bowl down. It is dirty. Hello. No. All right, guys, the moment of truth is here. My first time making and trying cauliflower fried rice. And I'm going to have a vitamin water, which is dragon fruit is the flavor. This is my second favorite flavor of this vitamin water. I like the uh, blue blueberry pomegranate better. On the rocks. All right, let's give this cauliflower fried rice a taste. All righty, here we go. Let's get some bacon and Wowzer. I've never had cauliflower like this. Especially as the star of the dish. This is 
surprisingly very, very good to me. Mmm. Mmm. Especially when you get a piece of bacon in there as well. Oh my goodness, that crunchiness and a little bit of saltiness of the bacon. Mm mm mm. Wow. This is delicious. And guess what? I have two more bags of cauliflower in my fridge. So you know this is going to be a repeat. Mm mm mm. Wow. Mm. I think I got that at the Chinese store. Oh my God. Wowza, this is so refreshing. Wow. This is some kind of good. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Man, especially when you get a piece of bacon in there. I should have made more bacon. The last meal I made with bacon, I had with the cabbage, I had too much bacon. Now in this meal, I made not enough bacon. But I know the next time. Mmm. This is a must try. And this is a healthy meal, too. At least I think so. Now, the only thing I wish, oh, that was different from the recipe that I saw online was the cauliflower was a little brown at the end. I don't know if that's because I didn't put enough soy sauce in there because that's the only brown element of this dish. But I didn't want to overpower the dish with soy sauce. So I think what I have here is the right mix of it. Ooh, look at me, I look darker. I'm telling you, out here walking around in this sun. Woo, look. <laughs> then my eyes starting to act up again. I think my eyes acting up because I used to wash my hands like at least four or five times a day. Ever since I got here and, and prior to getting here, I have not been, you know, I haven't been up on my wash my hands, sanitize my hands game. And I need to get back to that. And then I'm doing all of this. Mm, mm, mm. I need more bacon because this is delicious. Mm. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. I am here until Wednesday, and then Wednesday I am taking off to Orlando, where I will spend the next four or five days there celebrating my birthday weekend. My birthday is on Friday the 13th. I'm either going to be in Universal Studios on my birthday. I'm definitely going to try and make it to a Cirque du Soleil on my birthday. So if they have a show on Friday, I don't know. I have to check and see. But anyway, I will see you guys the next time.